It's been over two weeks since my last upload from the channel. Dengue virus almost caught me. I was just lying in a hospital bed the whole two weeks that I was not able to upload video. I'm thankful to God that I am finally doing fine. My clutch damper video, ladies and gentlemen, is divided into three parts. First part, what are the things to disassemble and how to disassemble them. Second part, how I remove the annoying rivets and how to properly install the new ones. Third part, how I put the pieces back together. This video is part 1, what are the parts to remove and how to remove them to get to the view of the clutch. Ladies and gentlemen, this is PH Motor Thread again back for more videos. If you are new to the channel, click that subscribe as well as that bell button to get updated on my freshly uploaded videos about our motorcycle. Let's now get into the first part. Replacing your clutch damper is actually one of the most intimidating operation that you might do to your motorcycle. The purpose is to remove that sort of helicopter sound from the clutch. This is the first time that I do it. With that being said, this video should not be treated as a definitive way to do it. If you are not sure if you can do it, just don't do it. Just because somebody else is doing it doesn't mean that you should also do it. Just a few reminders before we get down to the steps. If your motorcycle have been running for more than 24,000 odometer or kilometer as odometer reading, it would be a best practice to prepare a new gasket for your motorcycle as you might not know it by the time you remove your crankcase cover, your gasket will not be usable anymore. Some would actually tear and stick to the casing, so it would not hurt to be prepared. Now let's get down to the parts that needs to be removed. First of all, you have to make sure that your motorcycle's leg shields or side fairings are removed when doing this operation. So we have to take the right and the left cowlings. Secondly, it would be convenient if you do it during your change oil operation. Obviously, because this process requires your oil to be drained. So again, let me reiterate, we have to drain our oil. And we will use this 19mm socket wrench to do it. Once the oil from your motorcycle is drained using a 12mm socket or close wrench, remove the four 12mm bolts that hold your step nuts and side stand. Once it is done, we start loosening the nuts that holds and lock the base of the exhaust pipe. You can use a close wrench on this one or a socket wrench. The measure would still be the same. That will be 12 millimeters. After doing so, loosen and remove this 12 millimeter bolt as well in this area using both the 12 millimeters closed and socket wrench. We do this by securing both ends applying torque in the opposite direction as they both hold nuts with the same measure. After doing this, we are now free to remove the exhaust pipe from its place. Remember, we can now move the step nut so we can create that opening where the pipe fits to be removed. After removing the exhaust pipe, you can then go ahead and remove the step nuts and the side stand. After removing the exhaust pipe and the step nuts, we can go ahead and loosen this 19mm nut that is locking the kickstarter lever. You can either use a power tool or a socket wrench on this one as long as it measures 19mm. After doing so, just apply a sort of vibration or pressure on it to remove the kickstarter lever. Once done, we are just left with all the 8mm bolts exposed. There is no need to remove the foot brake lever so we leave it as it is. Now, what we will do is to remove these three 8mm bolt that holds the oil filter. You may or may not replace the oil filter while doing this operation. After doing so, just loosen all 8mm bolt that you see surrounding the whole crankcase cover. It is very important that you keep them in a safe place as you remove them one by one. Once you have removed all of them, you are now free to remove the crankcase cover to expose our clutch. Now this part right here is quite intimidating so listen to all reminders from here in order not to screw this part all up. We are almost there to removing our clutch basket. So we start off by unscrewing these 10 millimeters bolt that are being paired with pressure springs. Just an important reminder on this part, removing them should be gradual in order not to mess up the pressure applied into the fiber and friction plates. So we do this by loosening a screw a little, then going into the opposite screw, loosening it at almost 
if not exactly the same level of torque. Do this to the other screws again as well as to their opposite ones. Repeat this way of loosening the screws until they come off. Once done, you also need to unscrew this 10 millimeters nut at the center. Once done, we can now remove our clutch cover. After removing our clutch cover, you can then remove these combination of friction plates and fiber plates. Just remember which direction you have removed them from so you can easily put them back on. The fiber plates can actually be interchanged and put them without having to worry which direction the side is placed etc. The friction plate on the other hand although they can also be interchanged however they need to be placed properly each side has two types something that is not obvious if you just look at it from a distance they actually have a rounded and sharp side when putting them back on remember to put the rounded side direction facing the motorcycle or engine while the sharp side should be facing you from there and you should be good to go after removing the fiber plates and friction plates I suggest that you soak the fiber plates in a clean engine oil to prevent them from shrinking. Some types of fiber plates actually shrink after being dried out from oil. It is better to be safe than sorry. Since we have already removed the fiber and friction plates, that exposes our clutch basket and inner hub. In order to remove our clutch basket, which will be the final step of this part 1 video, you need to listen carefully to what I will say. We have to remove this inner hub by loosening this 19 millimeters lug nut right here using, listen carefully, you Using a power tool or an impact wrench. This nut can't be removed by any other type of wrenches other than a power tool or impact wrench. If you do not have that tool, better keep your hands off from your motorcycle. This lug nut can only be removed with an impact wrench, again, or a power tool. Once loose, you can then remove the nut and this little lock or clip right here. Pull the inner hub, make sure that this washer is stored in a safe place, and then bingo. We can now go ahead and remove our clutch basket by merely pulling it out and this is where our lousy damper is located on the next part of the video I will show you how I remove the rivets and install the new ones together with the new rubber damper I'm taking my time when editing videos now as it is really hard if you're doing all these alone so there would not be a definitive day anymore as to how and when I upload it would not hurt really to keep subscribed to the channel like my videos everyone or share to your friends anyway I would like to thank you everyone for watching this part 1 video. Watch out for part 2 and part 3. Mga pups and mga mamshis, ride safe always and peace!